yes sri krishna so you can start with your introduction yeah uh I'm Sri Krishna, C. Sri Krishna from Bits Hyderabad. I'm a fourth year and I'm studying electronics and communication engineering. Uh, I'm from uh, Chennai and uh, my ho hobbies are uh, reading and playing music and I also speed cube. You're from Andhra Pradesh, right? No, uh, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu, okay, okay. Okay, so. What do you like about Tamil Nadu? Uh, uh, I'm from Chennai and uh, okay. I like the culture here and the food, music and uh, also the film industry. Okay, so what is Chennai famous for? Mm. Chennai mostly South Indian food language and uh, we also have a popular film industry here. Okay. We have a lot of automobile industry also around, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's okay. a lot of automobile industry here. Uh, major factories like Hyundai and uh, Honda produce their cars here. Right. Yes. Yes. So uh, you're doing some internship with you know consulting, right? Management consulting. Yeah. So can you That's... walk me through your internship? Like, what are the uh, problems you're looking forward to? What are your roles and responsibilities in this? Result? Yeah, in Zenau, I was part of two projects. The first one was a NASCOM project. What we had to do was NASCOM had this future skills initiative where they uh, train uh, reskilled individuals in the IT industry for the technologies, for future technologies. So right. we had to collect information for that and give it to them so that uh, like the courses required, the skills required to take the, the different jobs in each technology. We have to give them that information so that they can curate it and yeah, use it to train the train the individuals in the industry. And the other project was I was asked to uh, find out the companies and the people. Uh, uh, okay, for, uh, working on a particular technology in a given location. I, can't, I think I can't tell you which technology I know. It's confident. Uh, right, 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 it's confidential. So what kind of tools have you used? Like any analytical tools? Oh uh, yeah, mostly I just use Excel for a uh, little bit of data analysis. And for secondary research, I mostly use Google and uh, we also had a LinkedIn sales navigator to find out the people okay. in the given interest. Right, right. Okay, so you have done various courses also on, I think, data analytics, AI, deep learning yeah. so what all courses yeah. have you done uh, i've done yeah two courses on that one was nnfl which had the which is neural network and fuzzy library which mostly had the basics of machine learning and neural networks and the other one is ai which uh, had the other parts of initial parts of ai which were like graph traversal and all that and a little bit of machine learning all right so uh, do you have, do you have idea about bias variance trade off what is bias what is variance uh, no so no no issues uh yes so can you walk me through your projects on like what is the project on shortest path like what have you done where did you do this project yeah it was part of the ai course so we were given a given uh, we were given a location like a small city and uh, we had to find the shortest path between uh, two locations. I used uh, a, a star search algorithm to find the shortest path uh, using a, this thing, uh, heuristic. Okay. Uh, so the heuristic I took it as, we had to find the shortest path in terms of time and the heuristic I took it as shortest distance, the direct distance between two points. Okay, so what kind of outcome did this project give to you? Like, uh, what was the final solution? Like, did you achieve anything out of this project? Yeah, I learned a lot from the project and uh, it uh, it was actually a group project. So I learned how to uh, work with other people in the group to achieve the project. 
and I learned about a lot of technologies like I had to get a data from Microsoft or Google to find the uh, coordinates of each point and using REST API so that uh, mm -hmm. so that I can find the shortest distance and the heuristic also the distance part I had to get it from them using REST API and store it in a database and retrieve it and use it so I learned a lot from that okay right right you, you have a lot of uh, computer programming experience also object uh, oops also right yeah yeah so can you tell me the difference between break continue and pass statements you must have heard about them right it's yeah. there everywhere yeah break statement it goes out of the loop entirely uh, right. continue statement it just uh, uh, comes out of that single loop and it continues forward and uh, pass i don't think i've heard about it you have not heard about it okay yes so okay so uh what is the one thing uh, during your course of say engineering like it can be a project it can be a course it can be some events anything which is uh, something which, from where you learned a lot of things or you which you are really proud of that you are part of something like that Mm. Uh, I learned a lot from those two, the TA course and NFL course, because that is what is popular right now. And I just did a lot of research online to find out like what is important and what all you have to know. So I learned a lot from those two courses. Okay. So what are your views on AI? Like, do you think AI can replace the human intervention and the need of humans in various applications be yeah, it uh, e-commerce or supply chain or anything you can take any example if you want yeah i don't think k will totally replace human jobs it will just assist humans in performing the jobs better by removing the mundane part of the job so that they can focus on the more important skills okay okay so shri krishna this is a small question like simple question right there you have a bucket right yeah. is a bucket uh, uh hand, having 100 white socks 100 black socks hmm. right okay and uh, you have to blindly pull out few number of socks hmm. it can be any number and so that you get one pair of socks to wear yeah okay, okay? So how, uh, what, what is the least number of socks that will, you will take out from the bu bucket so that you have one pair? You have 100 white socks and black socks. Depends, sir. Can I wear one black, white socks and black socks pair? No, no, no. So the pair will be same color, same colored ones. But yeah. all the socks are same, like in the same color. So. No, there are 100 white and 100 black, right? Right, right. So it's one white and one black considered a pair, which no, variable no, pair. It's not considered. Okay. Same colored socks are considered a pair. Mm. Least number of picks I get. So can you repeat the question, sir? So you have to put your hand inside the bucket, yeah. get say X number of socks, so that you have yeah. one pair at, at least. For sure, like you cannot look at the socks. You have to just pull pull yeah. them out. And out of that, you have to. Uh, the minimum will be. Three. And why? Like how did you come, come to the number three? If it's uh, it can't be one obviously, and if it's two, it can be one white and one black. Two white. If it's two whites, it's already this thing. Two blacks, okay. If it's one white, one black, the third one will match with one of the two. Right. Okay. Yes, it's correct. Uh, do you know about time series modeling? Oh, no. Sorry. Have you heard about that? No. No. No issues, Sri Krishna. So yes. Uh, let's talk about uh, neural networks a little bit uh, can you briefly explain me the different type of neural networks ann cnn rnn 
briefly explain me what are they and what how are they different yeah so uh, rnn is used for uh, time series input like voice input and uh, and with various example like stroke trading and the conversion neural network is mainly used for images to sort images or uh, uh, create a machine language uh, model on images and um, there are also uh, reinforcement learning neural networks like we use deep neural networks to use my learning to make it play some games or uh, achieve some tasks yes okay anything else you want to add uh, no okay how much exposure do you have with python and r have you used them thoroughly not much uh, uh, r i just learned it online and python i used it a bit for these projects i haven't extensively used okay okay right right so you are more like from your profile i'm confused whether you are more inclined towards programming side of uh, analytics or you are more in, into say just uh, solving some problems using data like what is your preference you want to program tools or uh, i'm interested in both actually i don't have a preference for one exactly okay. yeah so, so why did you switch from say the field of electronics and electrical engineering it is a really fascinating department we have a lot of uh, development going on from the field of signal processing to manufacturing of electronic goods and everything so why did you switch from that to the field of analytics yeah uh, i do you want to switch it mm, i think analytics is more common uh, now more popular now and uh, i think i'll be better fit for analytics than electronics uh, based on my skills uh, why like so yes yes anyways so my question will be uh, i'm just saying you are better fit right so i have a lot of candidates who already have experience in the data analytics field right your batchmates only who are sitting for the interview right now so why why should we select you over them like over those candidates Mm. I think I'll uh, work better, and uh, even if uh, I don't know it now, it'll be easy to learn, and I'll learn it to, you know, uh, perform the task of the job. Everyone can learn and perform the task. It's not something which no one can do. Hmm. I have an easy time learning it quickly, so that might be an advantage. Okay, Shri Krishna. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Mm, hopefully, uh, the data analytics for industry and uh, good, good job and good company. Okay. Uh, okay, Shri Krishna. So I am done with the questions from my side. Uh, do you have any question for me right now? Should we go ahead with the feedback and informal discussion about the interview? Yeah, we can go to feedback. Yeah. So Shri Krishna, I'll start with the uh, resume first. Yeah. Uh, your resume is not completely a ready version to be showcased to an industry, hmm. unless I am a really a person who is willing to look at every resume. So first of all, you are starting. almost all the bullet points with a small cap letter right oh. so every sentence should start with this action verb action verb is something like i performed this i yeah. validated this i simulated the experiment right so if you have time yeah. right now it will just take half an hour or something to really transform your resume a little bit right yeah And then so. probably you can present the fresher version so i'll just give you uh, some pointers which i see in resume which are lacking right now first mm-hmm. of all start with some action verbs like was part of a team that developed an interactive so the e governance right state no tamil nadu e governance project right yeah the very first one was part of a team that developed an interactive so instead of that 
write it in the this format that developed an interactive voice app to help patients navigate a hospital being a part of uh, a seven seven member team five member team yeah so it shows it gives a better impact i don't want to read a sentence where you are starting with we part of a team we used to uh, we yeah, was okay. part of this but rather start with something which will show me that you have done something first quantify your work also but you showcase yeah. some action associated with the work right so you develop yeah. something but that that is something which is coming secondary you being part of yeah. frame is important but that should be in the second part right working in a yeah. team of seven people working in a ten, team of 10 people it shows that yeah. you are a good team player you can work with the team yeah. but start with the action verb right so it will take half yeah. an hour just change all the sentences in this format Start, just like you performed, you created an and so first one, you know, management consulting is good. Like you created this, you performed this, but there also yeah. at some places, the tools you have used or the kind of impact that 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 project brought. Right? Say you did yeah, something and achieved uh, this much accuracy or achieved uh, good uh, API. You use REST API, you use Python or R somewhere. Right? Mark yeah. those things in. Google. Because right now it is a monotonous uh, sequence of uh, words and sentences which are going on in the yeah. resume. So I don't know where the impact is. So help yeah. me find the impact because I don't have that much of time. I don't have even a minute to actually go through everything in the resume. Yeah. In the first round, right? Yeah. So mark few things in bold. Don't worry. You you have uh, uh, almost everything, but yes, you have to format it in a way that it is it, it sells itself, right? Yeah, you don't have to speak in front of the uh, uh, to defend your resume. Your resume sells itself. So huh. get it reviewed from some of the seniors afterwards. But yes, right now do one thing: just start everything with action verbs, capital letter first. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yes, and then uh, the rest of the things will anyways fall. So mark few things in bold wherever you are using some tool or some technique, like you yeah. might have used say. I'll just give some examples. Like in the case of shortest path, you have used REST API. You have used Postgres SQL. So whatever things yeah. you know little little well, you can yeah. talk about that thing for three four minutes at least. Mark those yeah. things in bold, right? Yeah. yeah. Like object oriented pro programming is fine. Uh, it, it's something which you have written in the skills also. So your skills cannot just. Uh, they speak for themselves. You have to bring them also in the picture in one of your projects or something like this, right? Yeah. Okay. You had to mention your development. Uh, so your technical proficiency R, Python, and if these, these things comes inside the resume also in one of your project or uh, work experience, it will give yeah. an even better uh, impression. Like you are a keyboard player. Was part of a former Google performance for logistics. Uh, so this sentence can also be formatted. Uh, part of uh, so you can mention that part of the Guinness World performance for this is in the year 2019. So instead of using was a part of this this this. Yeah, it's not 2019. It's actually 2013. 13. Okay, okay. So no, no need to mention the year. Yeah. So you can start with performed, uh, performed for a world uh, Guinness World Record uh, event for yeah. largest keyboard ensemble on stage, right? So you start yeah. with performed or something yeah. like this, right? That will show yeah. a better image than was a part of a team. Uh, that okay, that okay. is really a dull kind of a tone, which in the beginning should not be coming. Start with action verbs. Yeah. And you can mark Guinness view Guinness World Record in the bold if you want. Otherwise, anyways, if you want to talk about this thing, if the person sitting yeah. in front of has uh, you is having some idea about that, he might talk about keyboard also. Otherwise, the rest of these things. Now yeah. coming to the interview resume, you have to improve. Coming to the interview, your introduction is not ready, so you have to prepare your introduction for two kind of profiles first. Whatever impression I got, but one is data yeah. analytics, one is. Yeah. Developer kind of a profile. You might be applying for that also, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm applying for both. I have to. Yeah, 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 applying for both. So I'm just a senior. So just take that advice from me. Prepare two inter introductions, which will last for two minutes at least. It should not okay. be something that like you are from Tamil Nadu. You are this person. You have done this engineering. That is something yeah. I I already see from your resume, right? Yeah. You mentioned the language also is Tamil. So bring at least one experience or one small story. 
so i am a person who, who was really shy and who never came out or something like that. make some story that then you took a initiative and did an internship with zino uh, management consulting there yeah. i had to talk with a lot of people that really changed me how i was one year back and how i'm yeah. right now so bring this yeah. confidence inside you right you yeah. don't have any issue with the language i huh. i got that impression that you can uh, properly speak in english some people have ang- issue with the language so that becomes a barrier sometimes right yeah for you it is purely being nervous in the interview so it might be your first or second interview right so don't be nervous the yeah. the way you can improve is uh, introduction where do you see yourself in 5 years why are you should select you over the other candidates why do you want to select in analytics as your field of work right these yeah. things prepare one one page answers answer as in don't need to write everything but you should have a flow of thoughts written in the in the yeah. in the form of a flow chart or anything and practice them in front of a mirror so mirror okay. is just a reflection how they will be able to see you right yeah. once you practice for 10 times right now yeah. you don't have to worry about the content now you have to worry about mm-hmm. presentation right so then yeah, you can yeah. start worrying. right now you are worried more about the content and you're not at all getting that confidence inside you and you're more nervous right now Yeah yeah because you are always thinking that where, where what I'll say next what will be as next don't worry about that just uh-huh. present everything with a confidence right yeah those questions uh, like uh, i asked you why, like what is the special thing about chennai why do you like it so there yeah. if you say something like automobile or something you bring something interesting which you know about and they might want to talk about that in that for 5 10 minutes so in that okay. way you are winning because you are letting them discuss something which huh. you know about right yeah so if i am a person who is passionate about automobile industry right yeah so he'll talk about uh, have you like all those industries are there or you can talk about some dish that you really like from chennai yeah. or anything like have this small small these are hr kind of questions to show that how you respond to the questions how you present yourself and all those things because yeah. for for a few of the companies it will be required Huh. where you have to present to the clients and all that so some of the companies where just you have to do, do analytics kind of work there the presentation and all those things will not be that much necessary right now you can develop later yeah. also but yeah. yes you need to understand what kind of profile they are visiting for right yeah so make a story accordingly so for analytics for programming both you have a story you have your introduction yeah. write yeah. those things down practice then you will be more confident right yeah now like you were able to answer the question on break and continue neural networks you told me just briefly so you have in your resume two to three kind of things one is computer programming and oops second yeah. thing is uh, ai and neural networks and fuzzy logic right so at yeah. least have basic understanding about the key terms in the, those domain because if the person in front of you has very thorough understanding about that he can take to the any depth but you are setting for analyst profile not a machine learning engineer or kind of a data science researcher or something of this of this kind right so they'll not yeah. go too much into depth but basic understanding about these things should be there like what is the difference between ann cnn and rn rnn is actually recurrent neural networks yeah right which is used for time series based models so if it is a fi- finance yeah. or any any company they generally use lstm or time series modeling and all those things so you don't know about it that is not a issue but if you have written neural networks so you know at least have basic understanding what are neural networks how is deep learning better than machine learning or just small small yeah, yeah. questions like because you have told that this really interested you intrigued you and you studied about them you did some research yeah. right why you so you should tell that you you are a really sincere because person that i didn't answer properly right right so in that you have to tell yourself Yeah. that is something because if you are not confident about yourself then why should i select you over the other candidates right you have to yeah. you, have, you have to convince yeah. there like that one question can actually overpower everything if you really answer it well so may yeah. so see you don't need to sell it in the front, in a person like who's really a person who can debate who can talk everything but you can sell in the answer of how sincere you are if you, you are given a problem you really can yeah. sit for long hours solving that problem because uh, i really like problem solving i really like uh, uh, learning new tools and uh, getting the getting the problem solved in a really quick time so i like this thing yeah. 
that's why i am choosing the field of analytics over electronics engineering and other things so this this kind of stories can work in any place so have this kind of story by analytics by programming because you see everywhere it is there the presence of it everywhere and how i can impact uh, the uh, the industry using the data like the kind of information which is gaining every day and how i can really solve problems to solve a few case solve one so from google also from in, internet you can find puzzles with this yeah. so the puzzle you really understood it well and directly gave me answer 3 yeah that was good on your part you just need to practice it and don't be nervous right yeah. because you are you are able to understand things don't be nervous first of all because the person yeah. in front of you is really accommodating most of the times yeah so in the so consulting probably. interviews it is a different thing but because in consulting firms they want to grill you they want to understand how you perform in the situation where you are lagging behind you are pressured from five six people but hmm. here they are mostly accommodating yeah first change your resume change uh, prepare your answers all puzzles case studies and uh, few guess estimates every day so every day one one yeah. one of each so give one hour to these things uh, will they ask for estimates in this analyst uh, interviews also see a uh, few of the companies uh, say, so in consulting they are definitely asking so you don't need to get yeah. go to that depth about difficult yeah. questions but yeah. at least understand how you approach these problems so solve at least few yeah. of them to understand how you, you approach it because they'll try to understand your approach first then the yeah. answer that is not actually yeah. necessary so you, few of the firms where you have to present to the clients present to the people also or you are, it's not just about uh, doing uh, r or pro- python programming right some people yeah. you have to just do things on excel uh, make a presentation and do it like mckinsey knowledge center or some other firms some places hmm. they ask puzzles and all those things also just to find your approach and they can tell you the tools and later you can understand you can learn those things yeah so some of, some of the firms ask case studies guesstimates also puzzles also yeah. just to see yeah. how you approach the problems you are saying okay. you are a good problem solver right so yeah. a few uh, if you practice few of them and understand the flow of thoughts like how yeah. it happens in the guesstimates or case studies is you you first uh, take, take care of the assumptions you you are making or you ask them questions So from both of them you have some initial idea now you start yeah. putting some numbers and getting the answer so how you approach okay. these problems at least understand that so that in the in actual interview at least know the approach now you can yeah. do the other kind of math that you have to do right yeah. so at least few few if you do right now it will be really helpful we don't know what can be asked okay. i could have asked just on programming and gone on depth yeah how is python 3 different from the previous version why, why is this thing different anything can be asked so just based yeah. on the profile you can check yeah. with the seniors also like who are selected last year oh. what kind of questions they ask or what is the expectation of the organization at the initial stage some people in the analytics role have not never used python also oh. they might have just worked on tableau and power bi to just get the dashboard done and present it so oh. they solve problem using the data but they are not making any models or anything they just using yeah. data to do some visualization and present it tell a story okay. right i guess i've covered most of it uh, do you have any question for me anything else shri krishna yeah mostly yes. about the yeah analyst interview what role it's uh, yes yeah, so it is a very di- di- diverse field it depends on the co- company which is interviewing you right okay so for for finance related firm they will be probably looking at a person who can quickly do things quickly play with numbers also apart from being okay. an analyst right if it yeah. is a research based firm or a, or a normal like uh, amazon google or the kind of profiles where they, you have to properly work for longer duration of time for one project there okay. will be more of how you can work with different uh, environments how you can use python or tools or other things also so you have things just quickly brush up make your resume better brush up yeah. the basics of everything because you cannot go in depth right now you don't have that much of time so brush up on the yeah. basics of everything so all yeah. guesstimates further than all those things also because some people will definitely ask you on this case studies and puzzles okay. people ask okay because they, that shows your approach to that do you yeah, have more projects to 
what kind of projects yeah, do they have like uh, one more chatbot is there using ai so you can you can yes yes yeah if you know the approach so for every project you should be knowing how you start from the start beginning and how you approach the problem how you have solved the problem what yeah. is the outcome of the project so key okay. out to come up with the project those things you right now only prepare for everything yeah. you write uh, something like what was the problem statement why did you solve this hmm. problem what is unique uh, hmm. like why did you use this tool what is the outcome of the project if yeah. you can talk about that project for 3 4 minutes or 5 minutes you can put in the resume so chatbot is something is also which is really good so the yeah. basis you have to prepare chatbot so you can put in the resume but start with action verbs okay. i exam examine data or performed uh, uh, yeah uh, descriptive analytics or something of this kind you just start with some thing which shows uh, that you have done something rather than just starting with a normal like a normal sentence yeah 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 okay yeah it's not a sentence basically it's just a statement there should be powerful okay. statement everywhere you're putting yeah, right yeah. okay yeah, just work, on, work for one hour or something like that for resume then yeah. uh, revise everything on resume yeah. and then yes be confident okay yeah you know how to solve problems you know how to solve puzzles practice a little bit understand the approach yeah, yeah. and then do good great okay krishna yeah all the very yeah, best talk yeah. to the seniors also if it is required based on your short yeah, list okay. keep asking seniors keep asking people don't lag behind huh. because okay. it's a race so we have to be proactive okay yeah you will do great okay bye bye yes. recorded all the very best ha huh? recorded right this it's recorded you will get the recording yes yes it's yeah. recorded okay sure yeah, thank you have a yeah, good thank bye. you yeah.